Hi, Mike Fisher here. As you can see, we're in downtown Philadelphia where the Dallas Mavericks just took them by storm again to the point where the Sixers fans were booing the home team, even though the Sixers almost never lose at home uh, and have a great chance to be a top four seed in the East. Sixers fans, because this is what they do here in Philadelphia, uh, booing their team uh, because they got behind of the Mavericks and then they stayed behind of the Mavericks for the entirety, basically, of that game. And the Mavericks now... Uh, become as good a road team as there is in basketball. They have done this at the Lakers, at the Rockets, uh, at the Bucks um, at the beginning of this week. Um, that victory obviously ending a Milwaukee 18-game winning streak, and now they do it uh, here in Philadelphia. Next up, the matinee, of course, in uh, Toronto. That's on the schedule. And then a busy Christmas week. But what the, the Mavericks have done here without Luka Doncic, who's nursing the ankle. He's on this road trip, of course. Um, I, I think the chance of him coming back sometime around Christmas, sometime after Christmas, very good. Uh, it, what they've done here, in my estimation, is they've skipped a step. This is supposed to take, and think back to the Mavericks of uh, Dirk Nowitzki's era, when it's Dirk and Nash and then Finley, and then they're bad, and then they're good, uh, or mediocre, I guess, and then they're good, and then they stay pretty good for a while, and it takes them a little time to get up and over the top. Uh, and then, of course, to really get to the very top took till 2010-11. I'm not talking about championship here with the Luka Doncic Mavericks and the Luka Liss Mavericks at this moment, but I'm talking about how fast they may get to contention. It's supposed to take two years of pain after you begin the rebuild, which for Dallas, to me, began with being a lottery team, and then drafting Dennis Smith Jr. So that was one year of pain. Luka's rookie year, less painful. And now here we are with the Mavericks bidding to be a top four seed in the West. I, I love the idea of scar tissue. I've always believed in it, that you, you, you've got to lose. you got to lose. you got to learn to lose. It's got to be painful. Uh, you, you've got to understand the steps it takes. But what if the Mavericks have skipped a step? Instead of two years of bad, and then two years of mediocrity, and then two years of good, and then two more years of maybe, which would be, you know, eight years. Uh, and that's, that's not abnormal. This team seems to have done it junior's rookie year, and then Luca's rookie year, and now here we are. Uh, and again, Philadelphia is a great place to prove a point. Uh, and th the one thing the Mavericks need to fix, with Luca or without him, is what they do at home. Just eight and seven at home, that seems extremely fixable for a Mavericks team that seems extremely competitive. Fish out.